Hey Wompers! In this video, I'll show you how to export your models from Womp, import them into Procreate, and how to navigate and of course paint your model with some cool textures. So let's dive straight in. So if we are happy with our model in Womp, the first thing to look out for before downloading the model is our unions. You want to put everything inside of one union that you also want to paint together. For example, I split the wooden stand in two different unions, one for each color. And that is really important because Procreate makes it really awesome for us. It actually recognizes what we put inside of our union. And if we click on that, it won't let us draw outside of the union. So make sure to split your unions wisely and have in mind what you want to paint all together. After that, we go to the top right and click on the share button and then download 3D model. We want to make sure we export the mesh of separate objects and we can also play around with the compression rate. This is how sharp or low poly your project will look like. I'll show you two different examples in Procreate, but usually you should keep this fairly low, especially for more complex models. And then we want to click on download OBJ and it will automatically be queued to process your meshes and download the files ready for you to import them into Procreate. So let's go there next. When we are in the Procreate gallery, we want to click on import at the top right. Here we look for our folder that we downloaded from WAMP. I have a zero compression as well as 0.3 compression one. We want to click on the very first data, this is our OBJ, and then it is straightway importing our model and bringing us into the scene. You can dismiss this message and then here we are. This is our model. What we see here though is that the zero compression model has a little bug. It has like this weird shadow on it almost. It's a glitch and I actually found that at least for this specific model it works better when I have a more compressed version. So play around with that and see what works for your model. We're definitely also still working on improving our 3D model export. Also, another really nice little extra here, when we hover with the Apple Pen over our creation, we can actually see it in rotation view. That is at least if we have the hover feature. So now I'm just gonna delete this one and instead import our 0.3 compression model. And then I'll show you in camera view how our navigation works. So if we are in the scene, if we hold down one finger on the screen, we can rotate around our model. Um, if we use two fingers to pinch, we can zoom in or zoom out. And we can also drag around our object by holding two fingers on it. Now, if we want to paint something, we click on one of the unions that we want to paint. Then we can only paint on what we selected and won't paint outside of it. Tapping two fingers makes a step back, tapping three fingers makes a step forward. Now to start something, I recommend on clicking on one of the unions, choose a color that you actually would like the object to have or the part of the model to have. And then you go to the layers and click on the layer and then select fill layer. And that way it is completely colored in that color that you want to already. And then you can go on from there. For example, one of the best options that we have in coloring our models in Procreate is the materials brush set. I feel like they have already a material applied to it and they have really, really nice textures in general. Here I'll just show you how awesome it looks straight away when we just paint over that with that texture. Maybe we make it a bit lighter and yeah, you see how it almost has this dirty metallic kind of look already. I think it looks really, really awesome. So yeah, definitely play around with that. Procreate also has a really nice tutorial about how to create specific material brushes, if, you, if you're interested in that at least. And yeah, I think that's actually most of what you need to know about the functions. So now let's actually go and paint this model.
And yeah, this is how you can add hand-painted textures to your WAMP models. I think it's super amazing. It is so much fun as well. I really recommend you guys to try it. And of course, you can use your models for your games or films or whatever you're making in 3D. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.